communicable diseases are kind of fading off and what we are battling with now, which is yet to be recognized as non-communicable diseases. It is high time we put some amount of attention on non-communicable diseases, especially hypertension. to bring down screening and early diagnosis of hypertension to the community level using the community structures that are there both public and private so that people who potentially have hypertension can be identified and then put on management as, as, as early as possible. We visit different communities three times in a week. So as I enter the houses, I visit them, I do check their BP for them. Because the licensed chemical sellers are in the communities and they are community members themselves, they have the trust of the community members and a lot of them go to them as a first point of call when it comes to seeking health care. And so we have just tried to empower them and to build their capacity to better educate people and to better screen people for hypertension. The patients that come here are those who already have the BP or have already been to the hospital and medications have been prescribed for them to come here. All of the screening forms, um, the enrollment forms, the diagnosis, the referral forms, um, cross-referral, all of these things are located on the tablet. So someone will just hit the form they need to use and kind of run through it and then it's automatically uploaded into a cloud. Based on the level of severity, if it's low to moderate, they'll be managed by the cardiovascular disease nurse in the community. If the person has severe hypertension, then they'll be referred to a physician at one of the three hospitals in the district. They're given reminders on to take their medicine, reminders when their review dates are near, and then they're given lifestyle messages. Reduce your salt intake, reduce your oil intake, take in more fruits, do a lot of exercise. Unfortunately for some people within the community, they do not have network coverage or they do not have mobile phones at all. Most of our communities are very far and there's no means of transport. Some have to walk a long distance before getting here. And the network system is very bad. If you should call a client, you'll not get in touch. One way to, we have tried to go around this is by involving the people we call the community volunteers. Now, even in the district setting, they have people they have identified as volunteers for the community that they use to track and to do their community activities as part of the Ghana Health Service System. So what we have just done is to, to tap into that system. The community volunteers do the follow-up by moving into the community to the house of the client and then bringing the client to the health centre to, to be able to uh, receive whatever service he or she is due for. There are a lot of components to it and I think realistically we're not expecting that as is will scale this up you know, to another district and nationwide. But I think there'll, there's some core elements there um, that certainly could be scaled up. Getting to the community and offering community-based services is really the way to go if we want this to be at scale.